You live by this thousand minute rule. Tell me about that and how has that evolved over time? The thousand minute rule. I get flack for this. I appreciate you bringing it up. As an entrepreneur, no one tells me what to do every day. I'll have clients who say you got to be here by this time, but that, like, other than that, I wake up and have to make my own life happen. I was trying to figure out a way to, to manage my time. Like, what do I do? And so I started with just kind of creating what I call finder keeper doer, which was helpful for me to say every day, I'm going to find business, keep business, do business. I'm going to CEO, COO, CFO every day. I got to wear all three hats. So from eight to 10, I'm going to find business from 10 to 12. I'm going to keep the business I have. And then from 12 to five, I'm going to go and do everything I got to do. Right. And that kind of morphed into saying I got 1,440 minutes a day, 440 of those minutes, roughly on average, I'm sleeping yeah. at the gym, whatever, hanging out with your spouse, kids. So I got a thousand minutes to be productive. And how do I use those minutes as, as dollars? So I wake up every day. I'm the CEO of my own bank of time. I got a thousand fresh dollars today, which helps me be really, really smart with my time. So I'm not wasting it because being wasteful with your time, as I've met more and more successful people in my life, is probably one of the clear things they think about and operate on. And then also helps me with like bad days or bad phone calls because it used to be, you know, someone would be mad for 10 minutes. I just ruined my day. That just ruined, you ruined my day. You ruined my week. Oh, that was, you know, and now I'm throwing out $990 because you took 10 of them.